Hey everybody, today on Henry's How To's, I'm going to show you how to make dry ice at home using a fire extinguisher. Let's get straight into it. So guys, I've just got a fire extinguisher here. Now as you can see, this one's a carbon dioxide one. That's all we need to use. To be able to tell the difference, just read the front there. If not, just check out the top. Usually carbon dioxide ones don't have any gauges. And they also have a big end piece like this one. So all we need to do, so I've just set this over a sink to do it, because it may get messy. So all we need to do is grab the end of our fire extinguisher, and I'm just going to wrap a tea towel around it, as you can see, just like that. And you want to hold it very tightly. Now just aim it down, just in case any rubbish comes out, it will go into the sink. Now. Go ahead and pull the pin on your fire extinguisher so it's released. That's a safety feature. Once it's released, go ahead and put a bit of force on your fire extinguisher and you want to hold it for about 10 seconds to get a little bit of dry ice. I'll do that just for the sake of the video but obviously if you hold it longer then you'll get more. So go ahead and squeeze the trigger. Okay, as you can see the sink is full on smoking up, which is pretty cool. I carefully release the tea towel. Be careful not to touch the dry ice, it will give you frostbite, and we don't want that. So our dry ice is just stuck to the tea towel there, as you can see it's frozen on. So what we'll do is just grab a bowl, be careful not to touch it and we'll try and scoop it all out into the bowl. Now if you have a pillowcase that may work easier, but that's all I had right now. And our dry ice is there. As you can see it's just a little bit, I just did that for the sake of the video, but as you can see more of it fell into the sink and it's still smoking up. Now all you can do is add some hot water to it create a smoking effect and we'll do the same here as well just to lift that smoke up so that's pretty cool isn't it and now I know that apparently some fire stations if you take your fire extinguisher they'll refill it for free so basically you can get dry ice for free and that's how we do it guys be safe with that if you're storing it put it into a little container do not put it in the freezer, you can't do that. But it should stay at room temperature for a couple of hours, so you can have fun with it then. Enjoy, and I'll see you guys next time.